This video is about to show you all T and K's lies and contradictions. Challenges and just every every just just new hot content. We're gonna be doing cooking videos because we really cook. You know what I'm saying? Not just eat out every day. We really cook, and we feel like you know we want to show a lot of other YouTubers how to cook, how to prepare. You know, good meals and stuff. You know, for your family, or whatever. Did Ed say that to you guys as well? Yeah. Okay. No, bitch. No, the f I didn't. I never told y'all that I did that to get Queen's attention. Martin even said that in his video. He just watched the entire video, and I did not say that anywhere in that video. I never answered the question. I see their kids on this banner to make people try to start joning our kids. They look like a clown. You try to join me when I was little. I slap shit at you. Laugh in the fast lane, we play our cards Pray and we'll find out just who we are Bitch, I've been the king of What up everyone, it's your boy Martin Lewis It's your boy Martin Lewis Boy Martin Lewis One it's your boy, Martin Lewis, Team GC. Welcome to my channel where I call out fake ass and talk about YouTube drama. Recently, I called out TNK, I think that's how you pronounce their name. They have made a response to me and today I am going to go through that response and show you all the contradictions and all their lies in their video. And these guys are not as real as they claim to be. These guys are hard out fake. So if you're a reaction channel, you better get your cameras ready, turn it on, get ready to react to this video. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell, smash that like button, and if you have any story or leads, all my social media links are in the description below. So let's get straight into the drama. So by now you guys should know who TNK is. I spoke about them in my previous video. They made a video responding to mine, so play it. It's your boy, Martin Lewis. Suck team real. Anyway y'all, let's get into the drama. First of all, she sounds Jamaican all of a sudden, and he sounds like special drama. I didn't say drama. I say it like that. A drama. Okay, so I was expecting an apology, but no, they didn't apologize to me, but they apologized to Troyce. Roll it. This is to you, Troyce. We felt hey. like some of the stuff that we were talking about, that you was taking some of our ideas. Um, we big enough to say that we were wrong and we apologize for I mean, So they apologized to him, but they won't apologize to me for making that claim about me. Well, you know, like, and, and, and I feel like that Martin is being messy trying to drag Troycey into this with him. You know what I'm saying? Because he really ain't got nothing to talk about. So you're trying to drag Troycey into this with you. If you gonna come at somebody, you come at somebody, huh? I did come at you, homie. I even put you on my mother freaking. You now broadcast and confronted you about the ish. I didn't block you like your coward ass did to me. I didn't do that. I confronted you and I thought I ended it. Now, I didn't try to drag Joyce, okay? I'll be real with you. I know your face can't bring me views. <laughs> That's why I put Joyce on there. Hey, my flag up here. Cause this, yeah, yeah, this ain't question. This flag on the plate. This is a flag on the plate. Okay, people here. What, you wipe your butt with that tissue or something and then put it on your shop? Like, what is that? People that don't know that, know what this means. Flag on the play means fake. Some, this is bullshit. A red flag means questionable. Yeah. Um, as y'all see, I got the... Yeah, yeah, we do see it. Because you're fake, you should definitely be wearing that. Because you guys are fake. Your husband need to be wearing a yellow one too because you're both fake. She start. Okay, this claim right here. <laughs> this proves... That they are such liars, okay? <laughs> Roll it. Someone, someone in, in Queen's Live asked her, did you see the interview that Angie did? She started talking. Yeah, I seen that she did an interview with a YouTuber. And I seen some. So, 
We was like, yeah, we saw she too. She watched our. Because you know, at the time we was watching Queens Live, so you know. And we said we saw her video. She mentioned she she almost mentioned our name. She was talking about us, so that's what she watches. This is the thing. It was on Snapchat. This wasn't on no Instagram Live. This is what was up on YouTube. Where's the chat? Can you can someone point me to the chat? The live chat. I ain't, I don't do that fake shit. Maybe he couldn't see properly. One eye was on you, like Instagram Live, and the other eye was on Snapchat. I don't know what happened. He's such he's such an attention whore and want attention so bad. He can't. Hey, you know, she one time at me because they said Angie, dude. T and K Squad tried to switch it around and say that she was talking about me interviewing with them when she wasn't. Like that's not who she was talking about. She was talking about Markeisha and Martin. So they tried to turn it around and say that. Uh, she was talking about me interviewing with them. No. I ain't, I don't do that fake shit. Because they said, Angie, you still want to ride off that. If you want the credit that bad, you can have it. Dude. But that, it's not that serious. It's not, it really not. Um, I know it's not that serious, but you guys made it very personally serious, especially in the comment section, didn't you? <laughs> That's the whole thing, though. We handled that situation with him back in August. We talked about it in his life. We left at that at that point. We, we said this. We agree to disagree. We did. And we left it alone. Then it was over. Actually, you guys, like typical cowards, ended the stream. And I'll tell you what we ended the stream on. But it was at the end. Oh, okay, okay. You right. You right. It wasn't no disagreed. It was you right. Roll it. Okay, you're right. I'm gonna just All say right, that. You're right. You're right. And you guys like to act like you dropped it, that you moved on. As soon as that stream was over, you went on to your stream and started to talk shit. We did. And we left it alone. We did. It was over. Um, talk about this crazy yeah, but he, he, situation he, he here. Was in there. He was dogging us. That man was dogging the hell out of us. He didn't even know we was in there. We was slick in there. I said Jersey in there. Jersey was in there going in for us. I'm talking about Jersey. I, ain't, I don't do that fake shit. I didn't think I was going in on them, okay? They just like to exaggerate over everything. Um... I don't remember going in or anything like that. I remember saying how disappointed I was because I went onto their live stream and it was a surprise for me. Like it was so disrespectful the way they treated me. So I went onto my live stream and spoke to my audience. Like how do you say, I actually like them. I actually watch their videos. Yeah, those motherfuckers, those bitches. Like it's like, what the hell? Like you like us, but you dog at us. And then when I started typing in there, that's when his fans was like, oh, they here. And then he was like, what? Who's here? TK here. That's when he was like, oh, yeah, let's talk. He changed his whole attitude then. Yeah. Look, I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe I did cast because I was pissed. I was upset with the way they treated me. And, and when I saw them, I was like, okay, let's talk. Let's. Let's communicate like adults. That's why we apologize to Trust TV behind. But we're not going to apologize to Martin Lewis because you you was being messy. Okay, what you should do is be an adult, apologize for accusing me of stealing your content ideas, and then address about me being messy. The thing is, I wasn't being messy. You want to find it, you're so stubborn and uptight, y'all don't want to apologize for any of the, 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 the shit that you've done. And you coming out in the live being first, petty and yeah. or cheeky as you say, I don't know what the that means. Yeah. But you being petty and it's like you doing your videos. You came in our live not thinking that we cool and you was being petty, dude. That's See, this is their assumption because they already have a pessimistic view about me. They assumed because they thought I was mean in the freaking comments that when I was in the live, I was in there to be mean again. People are thinking this is new. Or that, people think that we came for them. We didn't come for them. This shit happened back in 2017 where we left. In them. August. They, and we, we handled that situation. Okay, they try to downplay what they done. Oh, it was in August. It was five months ago. It was this. So you telling me when you go to court and you tell Judge Judy, 
Oh, it was five months ago I stole the Skittles from the shop, Judge Judy. Oh, okay, we're just gonna let it go. Did you rectify it? Did you apologize? Did you say, I'm sorry for accusing you for this and this? Today, we don't give YouTube is not our livelihood. If YouTube stopped today, then we still gonna be doing what the f we was you doing. Don't, you don't want to begging for your channel back when it got shut down because you didn't know how you was gonna eat after that. But I don't, I don't worry about YouTube like that. I do it because we like doing it. Oh, they try to hit below the bell. There's a difference between fighting and begging for your channel, okay? So get that correct because you weak asses probably wouldn't do it. Because you didn't know how you was going to eat after that. But I don't, I don't worry about YouTube like that. I do it because we like doing it. I was said at the end, but I'm going to touch on a few things that I think maybe has been said because I got a few inboxes that people were saying. The whole scamming thing with Queen, y'all. Understand this, if we put something on our channel, then obviously we got some information. It's, 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 we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't do, we don't do um, conspiracy thoughts or, or, or guessing. Probably do bullshit majority of the time. Anything we do on thoughts and opinions, we say it's our opinion because we have a right to state it from our opinion standpoint. But only if we give you something, it's a fact that we've seen on video. So, right, you, you don't do that fake-ish, right? Okay, well, prove it. Prove that it's a fact. Prove that it was Queen that was behind the Facebook. I challenge you guys. Prove it. You're not about that fake-ish, right? Okay, well, then prove it. Prove that it was Queen. I want to see the proof. Okay, you can't just go accusing people of something when they didn't do something. You didn't do your indiligence and looked into it properly. I know I did. So prove it. I want to see. I want to see the receipts. I want to see the receipts. Investigation on it. It was Queen. She also was scamming on her. Um, it was her official uh, music fan page on yes. Facebook. And we, one of our subs, was asking touchy questions to Queen, and Queen was responding. You know, I don't want to show all that because. And we have to show our sub, and I'm not going to put her out there like but, that. But, you have to show your sub. You can just blur her face out. Basically, she was showing receipts to Queen, showing that I know that this is you scamming. Queen instantly went and shut that channel. Shut that, that channel? That, that page, that, you, that Facebook page. Down. She sh we can't verify it. You know, I can't do that. So... Uh, Martin Lewis, my whole situation was I was pissed off is because our banner on our YouTube channel has our kids on. Y'all understand this? It's not a family channel. DK Squad, we like to welcome y'all to our new channel, to our family, to our life, and to our world. We have three beautiful daughters that you will be seeing in the very near future. And, you know, very fun to do with it. Kind of bring your family together or whatever. So, see our Little Munkins on our page. Y'all understand this? It's not a family channel. It, it's not. We just show you our kids on the banner, and at first we had our kids in the intro. Y'all understand this? It's not a family channel. Y'all understand this? It's not a family channel. Y'all understand this? It's not a family channel. Went to the live. He didn't even know that we was there. He was talking reckless and then pointing out, see, y'all see their kids on this banner to make people try to start joining our kids. Yeah. And that's what I didn't like. You this is the thing. You're so stubborn, Mrs. You want to wear yellow because you're fake as hell. You're so stubborn because you know damn well in the broadcast when your little husband decided to run away because he was used were cowards. Right. I'm going to just say Today this, and, and we gonna, we going to leave. I'm going to say this. Don't ever refer to my kids again. Like, leave my kids out of that. I don't. I don't talk about nobody else. Please. So don't, don't, don't do that. Because when we came in, you were talking about my kids. Okay, so, okay, well, I, I, was I was saying you guys are parents. You're not unrelevant. I was saying that not unrelevant people do not say that. I wasn't saying anything negative about your kids. So don't come at me. 
that type of angle because that was not my attention. If you felt that way, that's your problem. I wasn't dogging your kids. This is what I was doing. I have witnesses. I'm going to try so hard to get this video. I cannot find it. I'm telling you. Okay, and this is funny because they're the ones who were dogging out CJ's kids. They said they may be looking like a clown. With all that junk on, she looked like a clown. She shouldn't have had that makeup on. Yeah, yeah she like a clown. And not saying that, you know, not saying nothing towards that. Baby, it ain't her fault. You know what I'm nah, saying? It ain't her fault. It ain't her fault. But y'all dressed that child up like a clown on her. She couldn't even enjoy her birthday trying yeah. to do this Mexican thing. You know what I was doing? Someone in my chat said that they are unrelevant. I do not like that word. I might throw it around as a joke or say someone's unrelevant to a topic, but I wouldn't say someone as a whole is unrelevant. So I wanted to educate this person that watches me and I go, look, they're not unrelevant. And I showed them the kids. They have kids. These guys are parents. They're not unrelevant because these kids these parents are something to them. So don't say people are unrelevant. Okay? I wasn't doing anything to jack up or none of that ish. It's all bull. That's a lie. They just jump into assumption after assumption, which I've proven to you guys by now. But if you want to believe them, that's up to you. I'm Gucci. I know I never said anything about their kids bad. Okay? I was educating a person that they weren't unrelevant because they are parents to someone. Okay? I know, some deep-ish there. I know, it was deep. Say slick shit, sarcastic shit, and... And contradict the f*** out of and Oh, show me. I want to see the contradictions. I'm showing all your contradictions. Let me see. I want... Roll a clip. I just spagged everywhere. It's rain and spit. Because he said he don't watch us, but yet you will subscribe to us. You said you don't watch us, but yet you knew what clips to go pull from live. Every clip from lives, not just regular videos. You say you don't watch us, but you knew what the Uber stuff meant. You see, like, like you you do watch us, dude. Yeah, he Okay, these people are making the assumption that I watched them because I knew the clips, and someone reacted to their video or my video and did say that as well. <laughs> So, if you don't watch like 10K Squad, <laughs> how come you have all your receipts from their live streams? Right. And like... They go live like probably every single day. I got proof where I got the clips. <laughs> One was from this guy calling them out. I got a clip from them. And another YouTuber actually messaged me the clip of them saying I was stealing from them or whatever like that. These are clips that someone gave me. It wasn't me. I didn't go through all your videos to find that, okay? I think I watched one to look at some of the, the stuff you were saying, but I didn't go through all the videos. So don't try to sit here and say I watch all your videos or imply that I'm a, like your number one fan. At the end of the day, if you want to think that, that's up to you, boo, but you, you, you just, that's an assumption because I can prove and back up what I say, which you guys still cannot do. That's why he's embarrassed, but he don't want to say that. He, yeah, they small. You'd say, I ain't watched them. I ain't interested in them. It's nothing to do about that. I don't care if you're small. I don't care if you're big. Why would I be embarrassed if I watch you because you got like 14K? Are you serious? That's some little kid ish. We talked about this in 2017. Even to him. With him. We we combined a life with him. Back in August and September. So why was this re brought back up? Why was the video about it? Let me see. Uh, September, October, November, December, January, February. It's six months later. I don't. Because I can. <laughs> no, seriously, at first I wasn't sure if I wanted to cover it, but then this person sent me clips and I was like, you know what, I'm going to call them out because you guys do lie, you guys are contradicting, and just like any other YouTuber, I'm going to call you out, so I'm going to call you out. Don't try to play the card, oh, it's old, it doesn't matter. No, you're still a liar, you're still bullshitting, you still can't prove-ish, so it, it's the perfect time to freaking use it. It made no sense to me. Like, there is no beef, there is no drama, there's none of that. And they, I mean, you know, I, I don't want to play with one of those like that. And the reason I say that in that video, I said I beat your ass, was because I don't deal in sarcasm. I don't deal in, let me say slick shit to make these people laugh or to get some attention or to draw some attention. Just like how he said in his video, 
Oh, they, they might even lose subscribers from this. Well, we don't care. But they like to act like they don't care about subscribers and all that, but they do roll it. They jump down the smaller YouTubers' throats because what the bigger YouTuber words say is God to them. You know what I'm saying? Because all they pay attention to is subscribers. So, like, they, somebody, like, you may get a hater coming out of uh, comment box and be like, who y'all supposed to be? Y'all ain't got like 2,500 subscribers. He got 2 million. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so that made his word long because he got too many subscribers? Hold on. What's that going to do with me, though? Because you are bigger than us. Oh, because you are bigger than us, and and it's the same. It's the same scenario. Do y'all do y'all know how I fix that situation? When people try to jump on me when I was little, I slap shit at you straight up. You know what I'm saying? So and you're not gonna f me again. And you're not gonna fake me, me again. Okay, slap slap me. See what happens. I'll I'll push you when you roll down the hill. Okay. Last thing I like to say is that. A lot of people were coming for his appearance because of his eyes and stuff like that. They mentioned that in the video. <sighs> Guys, it's a good thing to be cross-eyed, okay? Because when you're making love to your wife, not only you can be watching TV at the same time, but you can be intimate. Anyway, guys, if they respond to this, I hopefully it's an apology and some proof that Queen scammed. I want to see that. If not... I really don't care because this video proves that they basically lied, okay? If you see this and you go, no, they're good people, no, no, you're you're wrong. I'm sorry, <laughs> you're wrong. Anyway, guys, I know I'm your guilty pleasure, so make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in another drama video.